In this WP Engine review, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about WP Engine before deciding if you should get started with this web hosting provider. In this comprehensive review, I will break down the pricing structure and show you how to get the best deal currently available. Next, I will guide you through the entire sign up process and judge how easy their platform is to use. I will then grade their performance based on page load speed and uptime from the WP Engine plan that I purchase. And lastly, I will provide you with the pros and cons and my honest recommendations on if or who should buy WP Engine. At the end of this video, I will give you a very special offer if you decide to pick up WP Engine through my link below. I will give you my six figure blogger course for free. In this course, I show you how to set up your WordPress website the right way, how to adjust and tweak settings for optimal website performance, and how to start driving traffic and make money from your site. Now let's get straight into this review. Pricing options. Click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It'll take you to my special WP Engine page where you'll get the best discount WP Engine is currently offering. I will also provide you with my six figure blogger course for free as a way of saying thank you for supporting my channel and I'll let you know how to get this later on in this video. Now if we check out the pricing plan with my custom discount applied you can see there's a 10% discount on the existing price. Now WP Engine has three main plans which is startup, growth and scale but if you need more than that then you can choose the custom plan and get in contact with WP Engine to sort out what you need. But for these three plans, the main differences are the number of visits per month you can have on your website, your website storage, and the number of websites you can have. And all other features are the same between the three plans. So that makes it easy for you to decide which plan is right for you. You just have to decide how many websites you need. If you're a beginner starting out, then the startup plan is probably enough. But if you're more of an agency or you've been doing this for a while, then you may want the growth or the scale plan as it allows a lot more websites. And the second thing you have to consider is how much traffic have you got right now? If you've got none and you're starting out, then once again, the startup. But if you're transferring or migrating over from another host and you already have lots of traffic, then you'll probably need to consider the growth or the scale plan as they have 100,000 visits per month and 400,000 visits per month. WP Engine also has two pricing options for you to choose from. The first is to pay annually, but the second method is to pay monthly. You can see here the price difference. I always recommend purchasing the longer plan, which is annually, so you can save money along the way once you're sure that you're happy with this hosting provider. And if you're not, WP Engine is pretty great as they have a 60 day money back guarantee, which is a lot more than the standard 30 day, which a lot of hosting providers have. They also provide most of the standard and must have features like the automated backups and the auto migration. Be aware that this auto migration is not the hand holding one on one migration, which is done by their support staff themselves. Another great feature that WP Engine provides is their free content delivery network. So this is an alternative to Cloudflare, which is also free, but they believe that this is faster than Cloudflare. So we'll be testing their CDN later on as well to see how fast it really is. The next thing I should mention is that WP Engine does not provide a domain name service. So you cannot purchase your domain name on WP Engine and then host your website on there. You can only do half the job. So what I recommend you do and what I always do myself is to purchase your domain name from Namecheap.com as they have one of the best prices going around as you can see, you can purchase it at $8 per year and renew at $13 and you get the free domain name privacy, which is a very important feature to have. And if you need a tutorial guide on Namecheap, I have a video to help you out with this in the description below. So now I will choose their growth plan for this tutorial to test them out. The overall pricing score I would give WP Engine is a 9 out of 10. They provide you with most of the expected features of a managed WordPress hosting provider. They have their own CDN and the automatic daily backup is provided for free. They also use their own servers and provide server side caching, which they say is faster than any caching plugin installed on WordPress. 
but I will make sure to conduct the speed test later in this video to really see if this is true or not. I did take one mark off them as they don't offer free personal website migration where their team will personally take care of your website transfer for you when you're moving from another hosting provider. I believe this feature is a must have for managed WordPress hosts as a lot of people would be moving from their shared hosting solution. Another reason they should have it is that most of their managed WordPress competitors provide it for free. So the standard has been set already and WP Engine is not followed on. After purchase setup and ease of use. Right away from their homepage, you can see it looks fairly easy to navigate with the custom user interface compared to the C panel that a lot of other hosting providers use. The design is also pretty clean and simple looking, although it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're looking at how many choices you have. And for example, if you go into their domain section, you can see here, it can be a little bit overwhelming for new users with so many options and so much text everywhere, but it's not too bad once you get used to it. So let's see how easy it is to install WordPress with WP Engine. And to do this, we will click on add site, type in your site name, click on add site. We want to create a new site. So put it into here, click on create environment and give it a little bit of time for WP Engine to build out this environment. And what about installing an SSL certificate? And to do that, we click on SSL. Now click on get free certificates, then agree to the terms and conditions, and then click on get certificates again. Now the certificate is being set up, so give it a few minutes. Overall, I would score WP Engine an eight out of 10 for setup and ease of use. I think all users would like the clean and comprehensive user interface and just how easy and responsive it is to navigate and do things to your site. I did take one mark away from them for not having the option to purchase the domain name from WP Engine themselves. They also don't have the option for you to host your emails with them. Not having this option makes it harder to use for someone who is just looking for a simpler solution. I took another mark off them because I found the WordPress and SSL installation to be a bit harder than other hosting providers. You always have to click refresh to see any updates when you're doing something to your site as they don't update themselves. Also, there are too many buttons to click for the SSL options and you have to redirect and click too many buttons for the WordPress install, which can be confusing for beginners. Speed and uptime performance tests. So after I have installed the basic WordPress site, I went ahead and tested out the speed of the bare bones website using GT metrics. The result is 0.8 seconds. This is a decent start for WP Engine as they are able to load in under one second here. They're not the fastest, but there's potential. So now I would take it a step further and add some design elements to it to increase the page size. And don't worry if you're overwhelmed looking at this, my course that I will provide you for supporting the channel will guide you through this step by step. Naturally, I would install WP Fastest Cache, which is for speed optimization, but WP Engine has server side caching and should allow your website to load faster this way anyway. The next plugin I will install is Short Pixel, which is for image optimization. And lastly, I will install WP Engine's free CDN instead of my usual Cloudflare CDN. This content delivery network will also increase the website performance free of charge. This overall setup will make it more comparable to what you would do in real life with these basic optimizations. This is now what the new website layout with all its new plugins look like. And the speed is now 1.2 seconds which definitely makes them one of the fastest hosting providers I have tested so far. And they easily pass Google's recommended site load speed of two to three seconds. Now I've also been monitoring the stability performance of WP Engine with Uptime Robot and can report that their uptime for the last 30 days is a perfect 100%. In fact, they have not had any downtime for 82 days in a row, which is very impressive. Overall, I would rate WP Engine's speed and uptime performance a 10 out of 10. I cannot fault them on anything here. They have really amazing speeds, one of the best I have tested, and their uptime is perfect too. So well done to WP Engine overall in the performance department. Here's a quick question for you. 
Who is your current web hosting provider and what is your page load speed with them? Let me know in the comments section below. Support. WP Engine provides 24-7 customer support through email, live chat and phone support. I will test them out by asking them these three different questions on live chat. One, I will tell them that I have been infected by a virus on my website and ask for their help. Two, I ask them a quick question about their domain name renewal costs. And three, I ask them if they could do me a favor and install an SSL certificate and Cloudflare for me as I am a complete newbie and have no idea how to do this. And here are the results. For the first question, they responded very quickly and ran a virus scan for me right away. They were going to remove all malware from me for free as it is part of WP Engine's guarantee that any site hosted with them would be free of malware. I was really impressed with their support of this issue. They were one of the only hosting providers that I have tested who were willing to remove malware for you for free. Now for the next question, WP Engine does not have a domain name service, but they were able to answer my question very fast here, so I was still happy with their response. And for the last question, they took almost 20 minutes to finally install my SSL certificate, which is just a simple one button click. So I was really disappointed with that and I believe it's way too long. I got a little frustrated as the support staff did not bother to check my DNS was already pointing to WP Engine and it was already ready for him to install. He kept telling me that I needed to point my DNS first to WP Engine. He also tried to push me to an article to figure out myself later on how to install my SSL certificate, even though it would take him only a minute to help out. So overall, I was not happy with WP Engine's resolution here at all. With regards to their response time, I contacted them at three different times of the day to make sure I get an overall average and not just a biased fast response time during their off-peak hours. So the three times were 16 seconds, 15 seconds and 8 seconds. The average of those three times turns out to be around a 13 second wait, which is definitely one of the fastest response time from a hosting provider that I have tested. I think the max wait time for any hosting company should be kept to under 5 minutes, which WP Engine passed with flying colors. Overall, I would have to score WP Engine's support an 8 out of 10. Their support team was generally friendly and willing to help immediately without having to ask twice. And their response time is one of the fastest ones when compared to other web hosting companies. I just took two marks off them for the way they dealt with my last question, taking almost 20 minutes to do something that should take one, and also not being careful to check things first. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing in my review so far? If so, just make sure to let me know by liking my video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more quality content that I release every single week. Features, cons. So let me first start off with the cons. The only negative I have for WP Engine is that they don't offer free personal website migration. All other managed WordPress hosting providers I have tested provide this important feature for free, so I expected the same with WP Engine. Pros The first pro that stands out to me is WP Engine's speed and uptime performance. They have an amazing website speed at just 1.2 seconds and their 82 days straight of no downtime is amazing as well. They are a very reliable hosting provider. The next pro is the fact that WP Engine has server locations in seven different countries for you to host your website on. This will greatly increase your website speed for your visitors if you or your business are located outside of the United States. Another great pro is that WP Engine has one of the fastest support response time. Their 13 second average response time is amazing. One of the fastest from any web hosting companies I have tested. The last pro is their features. They provide server-side caching, which is better and faster than your standard caching plugin. They also provide free daily automatic backup, which many hosting providers try to charge extras for. And another thing is they will also remove malware from your website if found for free. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to pick up WP Engine through my link, just send me your receipt to bonus at .com 
and I'll send you back access to my bonus course right away. It's that easy. Recommendation. Overall, I've given WP Engine an average score of 9 out of 10. They are right up there when it comes to price, performance and features. So this is my recommendation for you. If you are a beginner or advanced user looking for a well-rounded managed WordPress hosting provider with great performance, then WP Engine is a very solid option that I think you should seriously consider. However, if you're on a tight budget and don't have a lot of money to spend, then I don't think WP Engine or any managed WordPress hosting solution is right for you. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider is such a crucial step for your business. So if after watching this review, you think WP Engine is not the right hosting provider for you, then I recommend you check out this hosting alternative that I recommend to all my viewers. But if you're happy with WP Engine, then this next video is what you should watch. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video.